Today I'm going to show you step by step how to make a ginger bug and what you can do with the ginger bug after you make it. First of all, start off with a ginger root. You need plastic utensils or a wooden spoon. You want a mason jar, a lid, coffee filter, and sugar. Now chop up some of that ginger root. All you need is a teaspoonful and put it in filtered water in your mason jar. Now the ginger needs food, so make sure you feed it some good sugar. About a tablespoonful, that's all you need. For some reason, ginger bugs do not like metal. So make sure you stir it using a wooden spoon. You need to feed it and stir it every single day. Now ginger bugs love to have some oxygen, so we're gonna cover it up with a coffee filter and secure it. That way bugs don't get in it, but it can still breathe. In three days, your ginger bug will be ready to go. This ginger bug is a couple weeks old, so it is very full of ginger. I do what's called continuous brewing, which means that I use a lot of the ginger juice for all my stuff. Now I still feed it every day, and I still give it some sugar every single day, because that's how it continues to grow and continues to make probiotics. And I know that you're looking at this and wondering, what do you do with a full mason jar of ginger? I make probiotic sodas every single day. All that you need is a plastic strainer, and now you're going to strain all that wonderful ginger bug into your mason jar. Today what I'm going to be making is a strawberry soda. So you get some fresh strawberries, chop them up, put them into your mason jar full of your ginger, add some and sugar. Now the sugar is not only to keep it a little bit sweet, but it's also for the ginger to really explode and make more probiotics. And remember, always use a wooden Now we spoon. want it full of carbonation, so we're actually going to secure a top on. Now, depending on how much carbonation you want in your probiotics, you can leave it on the countertop for two to three days. Add some fresh strawberries to a drinking glass. Pour your probiotic juice into the strainer. Let it chill in your refrigerator, and now you have a carbonated soda full of probiotics that taste absolutely amazing. It's all natural, and it's good for you. So come on by my Facebook page and see what's a cooking at facebook.com forward slash Sean Simons and check out other probiotic foods and drinks that I will be making over the next couple weeks.